I'm having rhinoplasty. It's to help with my breathing problem, but also with the cosmetic part. I've never really been too happy about my profile. The front profile, I'm fine. I like my nose. Louisa is a wonderful, wonderful young lady with a great family. And some of the issues that Louisa has with her nose, and one of the things that really, really has bothered her for as long as she can remember is the nasal hump, her profile. Many people just tell me that they don't know that my nose is larger than what it seems until they see the side profile. And it's the side profile that bothers me. In addition, she can't breathe well out of her left side of her nose. I have an 80% obstruction in this side. So that's what pushed me to do it more. But she really likes the current shape of her nasal tip and the nostril area. She does not want that changed. I just want to look normal. I just want to be me, just better. My first consultation with Dr. Nassif was actually, I was surprised. He's just really down to earth. He has a really nice attitude where he makes you not feel so intimidated. He's pretty amazing. Hi, Louisa. Hey. How are you doing? Pretty good. When I see the patient, I'm going to spend a good 45 minutes with that patient. We're going to talk about what are they looking for? If they've had a previous rhinoplasty in the past, what are they unhappy with? You know, what, what really bothers them about their nose? And while I'm listening to the patient, and that's a very important point, listening to the patient, I'm gonna try to see if I can extract if they're realistic about their expectations. Following listening and talking to the patient, I'm gonna examine the patient. Communication is very important when it comes to a surgery, especially for rhinoplasty surgery. Our goal is to use all this as a tool to examine the nose and to create a bond with that patient and the physician. Very important. The lower part of your nose and your tip is a little bit acute. I'm about to go into my procedure and I'm not so much nervous anymore. I'm just like anxious. I'm anxious. So I look forward to just getting through this and starting the next chapter in my life. For Luisa's surgical procedures, we performed initially a septoplasty and turbinoplasty. This is a functional procedure to help open up her airway, and that's all performed by making small incisions inside of her nose. We then performed a closed or endonasal rhinoplasty, and the few things that we performed was one, we took down her hump, and we took down her hump quite significantly. We also put something called a columellar strut, which is a piece of cartilage placed inside of her nasal tip region just to keep it strong so that it won't droop. We also put a little bit of crushed cartilage in the infra tip region and that gave her a little bit more projection. And after we take down a hump, there's usually a little gap in the bones. So we brought the nasal bones in mm -hmm. called osteotomies. And then we also, right in the middle part of the nose, build up what we call the middle vault with spreader grass. The reason why we did that is because she was a little bit pinched in this airway and that was also causing some nasal obstruction. So we performed multiple procedures on her. The surgery went very smooth, it was exactly what I expected and uh, I'm sure she's gonna do fantastic. We're done. Today I saw Louisa, she's about seven weeks following a closed rhinoplasty. She looks great. Hi Louisa. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Mm, could be better. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got to hear about that. Then. Yeah. I actually didn't have a good day yesterday. Um, my son actually was throwing a little tantrum. He bonked his head up my nose and it hurt so bad that it just swelled up right away. Where? Here or there? The Where? The, it seemed like the tip. Like it was so like, the tip oh. went boom. Yeah. You? She also told me that she also had another problem occur a few weeks before even. And he whacked me up again going upward. She states that her nose is swollen and it's tender, and she was worried that there may be some asymmetry, but I didn't see that today. Maybe a little bit of swelling, but she looked pretty, pretty good overall. I mean, a little bit of swelling going on, but for two months, she knows it's fantastic. I don't think we have a lot of damage at all from uh, getting hit in the nose. Oh, thank God. I think you're fine. So she's had two little traumatic episodes to her nose, but overall, she's healing beautiful. I can say it every day for the rest of my life, and it still won't add up to how much you've changed my life just because I feel good. What I want to do now is take some photos of you. Okay. Right there. Perfect. Wonderful. The surgery has changed my life by the fact that I'm able to breathe better and sleep better. 
I think it's my emotionally and mentally I'm on a different level. I just I feel like my my mind has expanded just as far as my outlook on everything. Like for me, it's just I think this is like a stepping stone into the next phase of my life. It's just the beginning of another chapter. Perfect. But guess what? We're done with your photos. At this point, she's very early in her healing phase. I mean, she has to heal for a full year, and I'm very happy at her progress right now at this point. She just has to be very careful. And be careful with your nose. Thank you, doctor. My pleasure, my pleasure. You are awesome. It looks great, and guess what? You're not even fully healed yet. And so I feel take more good. Time. I feel so good. Thank you so Thank much. You. I'm, I'm actually happier. I don't look at the little things anymore. I mean, I'm just less picky about, okay, well, what do I need to fix next? No, I'm just, I think that's, he's taking me to another level where I'm just happy with myself. I feel complete, you could say.